The clock is ticking on the Congressional Super Committee. They're the group of 12 lawmakers from both sides of the aisle who are supposed to shave more than a trillion dollars from the deficit. They promise to give the public a chance to be heard in the process, but as Kate Baldwin reports, some are calling for more transparency. Good morning. The so called Super Committee began its work with a promise of transparency. I believe the American people deserve to have full access to committee business the way they do with every committee here in Congress. There will be ample opportunities for the public to have their opinions heard. But with just seven weeks before their Thanksgiving deadline, the committee has met in public three times. The 12 members meeting more often in private and offering almost no detail on any progress they're making. Make progress. The closed door meetings have government watchdog groups up in arms, accusing the powerful committee of inappropriate secrecy. Transparency is especially important for the super committee because they're basically replacing the rest of Congress. They have far more power than any other committee has. John Wonderlick is with the Sunlight Foundation, one of more than a dozen groups calling on the super committee to open up, saying members should also disclose campaign contributions and any contact with lobbyists. We think that the amount of power that the super committee has been given should come with some disclosure and transparency that's at least equal to that, especially if they're going to be fundraising and meeting with lobbyists at the same time. But Jim Manley, a former top aide to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, says getting behind closed doors may be the only way to get anything done. Look no further than this summer's debt ceiling fiasco. Aides immediately ran out and gave a blow-by-blow -blow description uh, almost in real time to reporters. I don't think that was helpful for the process. Manley suggests that less talk from the committee could actually be a sign of good progress. After all, every vote they take uh, is going to be in public uh, uh, under the Klieg lights of C-SPAN and CNN. And if that's not real accountability, I don't know what is. That was Kate Baldwin reporting.